Hey there, this is John from Stormy Studio and this is a video to showcase our new Time Machine template. Um, essentially it's a template to allow you to time the loading times, um, get the loading times bet between scenes, um, making use of the device's clock that we now have access to. Um, so this is the project file, it's two scenes. The first one has a press button in which is a group of rules that you need to put in your game before your change scene. Um, nothing needs to be changed inside, it just basically activates the timer. Go back to the other scene, and in here there is Stormy's Time Machine actor and a back button. So preview, oh, let's go back to the first scene, activate timer, and it gives you 0 seconds, 0.3. Um, do it again, it does vary, even though this is on running my Mac. And there you go. Um, if you click and hold, the actor gets destroyed. One timer again, it's there. So you can destroy it and carry on with your game. Um, I'll give you a quick run through of how you'd add it to an actual game. So let's close that down. Okay, so here we are in my Dark Asylum game that I've been making for the last six months or so, uh, on and off. Um, so. Uh, initially I made this template so I could test the loading times in this game because they're pretty damn long. Um, anyway, to bring the template into this game, into this project file, I used um, Deep Blue Apps Project Merger um, and that brought it in and so there's the press button scene. Um, I've removed the other one because it's not needed. Um, so we go into the press button first of all. Edit Prototype get acti um, the Activate Stormy's Time Machine group of rules. If you drag it down to your custom behaviours, save it there so you've got it whenever you need it. Um, if I go to my loading screen, which has got a change scene behaviour in it, edit prototype, edit prototype, there we go. Drag the behaviour above my change scene so it, it starts the timer just before it changes scene and then go to the lift scene which is the scene it's loading into and on there drag down to the bottom of all my actors and at the bottom you'll find Stormy's Time Machine actor put that on um, if you're in a scene with gravity make sure your gravity is turned off for this actor etc etc um, and yeah you're good to go um, right. Uh, I'll just cut to a video I recorded of this running on uh, my iPhone using uh, GS Viewer. Um, any questions, please email me uh, at sales at stormystudio.com or ask me a question on the